So it took about 100 hours to let the Michael Vick news sing it, sink in, and then boom, Brett Favre to the Vikings. He came to Wisconsin, he brought his southern charm. He brought his love of football in a rocket for an arm. Back at you, Ravens Fan Nation, talking a little bit about football, a little bit about the Ravens, a little bit about Brett Favre, Michael Vick. I made a video earlier, didn't like it, so I took it down. That's just how it worked, right? So let's talk about the Ravens real quick. Nothing big. We've had a couple injuries, I know, to our O-line and our D-line. Everything will be normal, back to normal, preseason week two, when we go against those New York Jets. So we just need time to rest some of our players up. They've been practicing very hard the training camp year. So it's crazy, right? We also signed undrafted uh, Drew Willie this weekend on Saturday and a guy named Cleo Lamont or Cleo Lemon or something like that, formerly of the Dolphins. We signed him to our quarterback position. We, we, just, we just keep adding depth to this quarterback saga the Ravens have. Troy Smith, Joe Flacco, John Beck, now Drew Willie and Cleo Lamont or Lemon or whatever the hell his name is to our quarterback depth. So if one of us goes down, we got another one to back us right up. I love it. Um, so don't be worried, preseason two is coming up against them New York uh, Jets and Rex Ryan talking shit about the Ravens uh, in his own trash talking world, you know, fuck him, he's gone, he took a head coaching job in New York, you know, he was a great guy, but we got Greg Mattis now, I think he's even better than Rex Ryan, he's going to be better than Rex Ryan. We did lose Bart Scott, Corey Ivey, Jim Leonard, you know, so it's, it's, it's going to hurt us, but forget about Rex Ryan. Michael Vick and Brett Favre, you know, they're putting the spotlight on all these fucking teams, you know, they put the spotlight on Philadelphia when they got Michael Vick, signed him, then they took it away and put the spotlight on Minnesota, why? Because Brett Favre is back, Brett Favre signed a two-year deal worth, I think, 10, 11, 12, 13 something million dollars, he uh, boarded a plane on Hattiesburg, Mississippi, uh, flew to the uh, Vikings area, trained with them a little bit, fans wearing number four on their back, they're all ready to fucking go, and they're excited because now they got Brett Favre on their team. And everybody's kind of questioned, will Brett Favre bring the Vikings to a Super Bowl? Well, look where the Vikings went last year. They could have advanced pretty far in the playoffs. They got stopped uh, by a very dominant team. Will they do it again? Well, look who they got. You got Adrian Peterson on your damn team. Be the fuck happy. Brett Favre is a great guy. I love him. He's my hero. And I would die for him to be on the Ravens. Yes, I know we got Joe Flacco now, but still, don't hate me on that issue. Brett Favre threw 20 interceptions last year, I believe, to the Jets. Took him to 9-7 nine and, nine and seven or whatever last year. I don't think he's going to do the same thing in Minnesota. But I don't want to get all hypocritical about, you know, the Vikings are going to be the best team in the world now they got Brett Favre. Uh, or do I want to see the Eagles are going to be the best team in the world because they got Michael Vick. You don't base a team on the huge amount of talent you got on the team. It's how you can work against that talent. Look at the Ravens. People look at the Ravens. The fuck talent they got on their team. They got... An uh, average wide receiver core, an average running back core, a running core, an average O-line, an average quarterback, an average... Th th people say we got a good to an average defense now that Bar Scott and obviously Jim Leonard and Corey Ivey's gone. We lost Rex Ryan. Uh, but we still got Ray Lewis. And hasn't he been the captain of this team like fucking 20 million years and counting, right? So don't worry about the Ravens. And don't worry about the teams that got all these spectacular talents as they're going to be the fantasy Super Bowl teams. Because look at the Cardinals. Nobody expected them to go nowhere. And the Steelers, look, they got talent, but they don't have huge amounts of talent pouring at them like the Patriots do. Or the Chargers. Or the Cowboys. Or the Giants. Did any of those teams make the Super Bowl last year? The Steelers did. The Cardinals did. There's my point. So Brett Favre is going to do very well in Minnesota. Don't get me wrong. I can see him take that team 13-3 next year just because of the coaching staff. It's, it's very different what Mangini did in uh, New York than what Childress does in, in Minnesota. It's way different. There's 10% of Vikings fans versus 10% of Vikings fans that probably don't give a shit. But the rest of them, that, what, 80 80% is kind of set dead on, on Brett Favre. Michael Vick, we'll have to wait and see. So, I don't know. My, my, my thoughts on him, good luck. Good luck, Brett Favre. That's all I can say. Good luck. Don't forget to rate this video. If you don't rate this video, Michael Myers will find you at your house tonight. And, well, never mind. But comment the video as well. I want your thoughts and subscribe. All that bull crap on, uh, on our channel. And for the person that came to my channel a couple days ago and said, Why do you make videos? Nobody likes your fucking videos. If nobody likes my videos, then why do people watch them? If you don't like my videos, don't watch my videos. I don't make videos to entertain people. I make them to give you 
my news, my fucking love, right? My, my love for you, or well, for a certain person, but my love for everybody else. I'm Joe, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Check you out later, Jets Ravens Monday. My, me and my partner Jeff will be down there uh, tailgating with a couple people. With uh, Tailgate 1, uh, I believe the Jets game. Add me on MySpace, go subscribe to me. Uh, we can't subscribe to you on MySpace, go subscribe to me on YouTube. Also, two shout-outs real quick. Super J1993 and the Canadian Niners fan, both people deserve major credit. They're both underrated Niners fans. They both deserve to be um, brought up in the Niners empire. Subscribe to them now, and Michael Myers will do this to you tonight. I'm Joe. We'll check you out later.